Creating large bodies of water with Maya is actually surprisingly simple. Using the BOSS toolkit, we can create natural looking displacement quickly. The Maya Learning Channel has a four part series on setting up BOSS. This video is going to be a quick fire version with a bit more look dev. If you want an in-depth look at BOSS, I recommend those, link in the description. First, we want to make sure BOSS is loaded. Go to the preferences and check the plugin manager to do this. So initially, we want to create a plane, the scale of which will determine the patch size of the ocean and subsequently will have a performance impact as you will need more polys to get a higher res result. I'm going to go for 150 by 150 and an initial resolution of 32 by 32. I'll up this to 512 by 512 when we cache later. Now, if we go to the Maya FX tab, we'll get Boss on our toolbar. From here, we can launch Boss Editor. In the editor, you'll want to create a spectral wave. With this comes a group of parameters to determine the ocean's motion. By default, the patch size is 100, but I'm going to up that to 250 as I want a larger patch that will require less tiling. This will be more intensive to process so it could get a bit slower. Now, for establishing the wave looks, I'm going to play with two parameters wave height and wave size. In this instance, I don't want the wave height to be so large, so I'll be going for something about 0 0.08 or 0.8 rather. It's hard to see what's going on, so I'll go back to my plane and I'll increase the resolution to 256. This will be slower, but we'll be able to see the details a bit better. Now you can see if we crank up the wave size, we get a nicer looking result with better peaks. Now this is basically good enough to cash out, but we can do one other thing to help us with tiling this later on. What we'll do is we'll create a second spectral wave, but make it a smaller patch size so that when the two are combined, they'll break up the tiling. This way we'll get a nice result when we come to rendering. I'm going to go for 140 by 140 here and Wave height will probably be a bit smaller, so we'll go for about 0.5. Looking good so far. So now we'll export these waves as displacement maps. You'll need to have set up your project at this point so you can cache the right folder. So assuming you've done that, you can go ahead and just click cache all. But before you cache, let's increase the plane resolution to 512 for even more detail. Now let's go ahead and cache. As the caches are finished, we can now add them to our scene and shade them using Arnold. The scene I'm using is the one I built previously in my forest tutorial. If you're interested in that, the link is above. So you can see here in this render that I've already added the water, so I'll backtrack and we'll show you the setup. First, we'll add a plane to the scene. I'll be using the boss cache to displace this. It's a big scene, so the plane will be 900 by 900. We'll leave the resolution as default. Opening up the hype shade, I'm going to add an Arnold standard surface shader and use the deep water preset to start with. Next, I'm going to want to add the maps we cached as displacement. First, add a displacement shader and pipe that into the Arnold shader. Next, we'll be adding the main boss cache. What I'll do to start with is add a file projection node and add the first boss cache to it.
Then I'm going to adjust the 3D projection. I want it to be half the size of the patch from the boss sim. In this case, mine was 250, so I'll make this 125. Finally, just rotate this round by 90 degrees, or minus 90 rather, to project onto the plane. To add the second cache, I'm going to repeat the process, except for the patch was originally 140, so I'm going to half that, or maybe just go a bit bigger to 75. In order to combine this with the main cache, I'll use a node called color map. It's going to be a simple case of piping the respective textures into A and B. Time for a test render. Now we're getting a pretty decent result, so it's all just down to tweaks now. To get the right sort of scale, we can adjust the displacement amount or the tile size. And to get a deeper look with the water, say we want it darker for example, this can be done by adjusting the transmission color. You can tweak these values to get a look that suits your scene. I'm personally going to make mine quite dark. That about covers the basics. If I were to take this further, I'd think about adding phone maps and perhaps using curvature to lighten the water where it meets the shoreline. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful or have any questions, let me know in the comments below.